Botox. Botox is a word that when we hear it, we often associate it with luxury, rich, fame, and fake. When we turn on the TV and see several different women, you know, sitting around injecting their face with a substance that we know what Botox is, it often makes us think, really, that's, that's what you're offering me? However, what the TV doesn't show is the research that has been done on Botox and the different diseases that it can now fight against without just fighting a bad case of aging. So now I'm going to talk to you about what Botox is and how it can treat different diseases that we had no clue that it could do. So Botox, or onobotulinum toxin A, is a bacteria that causes botulism in adults. And actually what it's being used for now is several other things like muscle spasms, chronic migraines, even urinary incontinence. So the way Botox works is it's injected into a muscle in your body and then it paralyzes that muscle. So it decreases um, wrinkles, it stops spasms from happening so you have decreased muscle activity. Um, there are several different things that can happen when Botox is not administered correctly. So it's important to find a good doctor who knows exactly what they're doing um, so that they can decide what muscle is best to inject the Botox in and what, um, how many units and what type of Botox to use because there are different types. There are medications in today's society that we know of that have multiple purposes and more and more medications are coming out every day that do have these multiple purposes and Botox happens to be one of them. So I've told you already what it can fight, but the main thing that it fights other than wrinkles is chronic migraines. And when I think of chronic migraines, I think of different ways that I can help my migraines, which one of them would be chiropractic care. So I took a trip to my chiropractor, who is Dr. Frank Ladon out of Hartwood Chiropractic in north of Pittsburgh. So I talked to Dr. Ladon and kind of wanted to get his thoughts on the Botox. And his direct statement was um, he has had several patients who have tried Botox in his office that tried other resources to help with their migraines, but nothing else nothing else helped, not even chiropractic care. So he said reports from those patients have been pretty positive about the Botox other than some minor things. But he also recommended if anyone were to try Botox, like I said earlier, to find a good doctor who knows exactly what they're doing because the risk of not having a good doctor can mean permanent paralysis and other side effects that really are frowned upon by different people. So, like I said earlier, chronic migraines, wrinkle fillers, also treats muscle spasms, urinary incontinence is a big one for those elderly people who cannot control their bladder function anymore. So, we know the side effects of medications are a given. You know, there's no medication on the market that is not going to cause anything. However, they can have really significant side effects or really non-significant side effects, meaning that they're not really that bad. So Botox is actually a fairly clean medication, according to Dr. Rothrock. Dr. Rothrock is an MD, and he states that although Botox can cause some side effects, they're really not bad, and the people who do experience side effects are very mild side effects, and they don't last very long. So some of those could be nausea, vomiting, neck pain, headache, or pain in the injection site, which is a given because a needle is going under your skin. So... It really depends on the side effects that you're going to experience depending on what your body likes and how your body handles it. Um, we know that Botox is not a permanent solution. Many people have to do it every three to six months depending on, like I said, how your body takes it. Um, however, it can get very expensive. Usually cosmetic Botox, meaning wrinkle filler Botox, is not covered by insurance and it can range anywhere from $300 to $800 a session. But the good thing is that if people with chronic migraines or other diseases need 
a Botox treatment and they've tried other resources, sometimes insurance will pre-approve. So some insurance can cover it. Now, I've talked to you about Botox today because I thought it was a really interesting subject and I didn't know anything about it. It's really shocking to me that such a low medication on a grade of what it can do has become a really significant medication in the sense that it can do a lot more than we originally thought of just a wrinkle filler. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks.